video that helped an Omaha jury convict a man of a hate crime. Gregory Duncan sucker punched a U.S. Marine who was sticking up for two of his gay friends. The jury relied on personal accounts of that attack. Tonight, reporter Kelly Bartnick explains what led up to that sidewalk confrontation. Kelly. Craig, the surveillance video was among the first pieces of evidence the jury saw at trial. And tonight, we're showing you what happened inside this Pepper Jack's grill. These two minutes of silent video played a big role in the hate crime conviction of Gregory Duncan. The video does not show the early morning fight October 27, 2013, but prosecutors said it does show tense moments before Gregory Duncan's fist flew. You see two tables on your screen. On the right are Ryan Langenegger and his friends. On the left, Gregory Duncan and his group, both at Pepper Jack's Grill after a night out in the old market. You never know, like, you know, in different situations. You never know, maybe you could have been, you know, great friends instead. Josh Fu said that following the verdict, he's in the video with Langenegger and another friend who was dressed in drag. As the jury watched, Fu testified Duncan's friend approached the table. Words were exchanged. Fu said he tried to get his friends to leave because he felt uncomfortable. Eventually, they did. Hopefully, there will be more openness in the community to say, hey, you know, this happened, and, and, you know, the openness to be able to talk about it. Shortly after, Duncan's group followed. There was a confrontation outside the restaurant, and Duncan punched Langenegger. Defense attorneys argued the group left because it was closing time, and Duncan threw a punch outside to protect a friend, not because of Langenegger's friend's sexual orientations or attire. During trial, Duncan reiterated that. Just really was just out there trying to help protect him, make sure nothing happened to him, and before I know it, it turned into this. Duncan's attorney says he plans to appeal the verdict. Now, it could have been a misdemeanor assault charge, but with that hate crime attached, it moved it to a felony. Reporting live in the Old Market tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.